According to the ACCAHA classification, what is the level of blood pressure in stage 1 hypertension? Option A, systolic BP 140 to 159 millimeters of mercury or diastolic BP 90 to 99 millimeters of mercury. B, systolic BP 145 to 159 millimeters of mercury or diastolic BP 90 to 100 millimeters of mercury. C. Systolic BP 150 to 159 millimeters of mercury or diastolic BP 90 to 105 millimeters of mercury. D. Systolic BP 130 to 139 millimeters of mercury or diastolic BP 80 to 89 millimeters of mercury. Blood pressure is commonly represented by two numbers. The top one represents the systolic blood pressure which is the arterial pressure when the heart is contracting. The lower number is the diastolic blood pressure which is the arterial blood pressure when the heart is relaxing. Usually blood pressure is monitored in the brachial artery in the upper arm. Normal systolic blood pressure is defined as less than 120 mm of mercury. And the normal diastolic blood pressure is less than 80 mm of mercury. Elevated systolic blood pressure is considered between 120 and 129 millimeters of mercury, and less than 80 millimeters of mercury in the diastolic side. Stage 1 hypertension is between 130 and 139 millimeters of mercury on the systolic side, and between 80 and 89 millimeters of mercury on the diastolic side. Stage 2 hypertension is defined as anything that's 140 mm of mercury or higher on the systolic side, and 90 mm of mercury or higher on the diastolic side. Typically both systolic and diastolic blood pressure tend to climb or fall together. That's not always the case. Sometimes when one side is normal and the other is really high. This is referred to as isolated systolic hypertension, or isolated diastolic hypertension. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.